Ladies and gentlemen, the move is finally done. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity. Welcome back to another video. Finally, the move is done. The setup is set up. Everything's in its place. For the most part, it's still a little bit of a mess till we figure things out, but we're all moved in and I can finally start making videos again. And we're starting with a bit of a moving vlog slash setup tour. This move took so long and not only because I have a stupid amount of stuff to move, but because we decided to do a lot of renovations after we bought the house before we moved in. So we painted a lot of stuff, painted all the trim. Um, we have plans to redo the bathrooms and the kitchens, and we just had a lot of planning and uh, renovations to do before we could finally move in because of all the fumes of paint and whatnot. But that is over. We're moved in. I'm sleeping here. I'm recording here, and I'm going to show you how we got here. And it all started with me tearing down my old setup. So tearing down my setup is not fun and uh, not a small feat at all. It's got a lot of monitors that I really need to be careful with and really don't want to break. It's got a lot of lighting with really expensive light bulbs that I got to be careful with that I really don't want to break. Um, camera equipment, heavy computer, and oh my god, the amount of cables I have. Here's what it looks like when it's not cable managed and after my setup is taken out. It is just... It's horrible. I cannot stand it. But now that the setup is all torn down, it is time to move it to the new house, and there's no way if I'm building a brand new gaming and streaming room that I'm using my old crappy desk. So we took a trip to our closest Ikea, and we bought two gray Alex drawers and a Carl B tabletop. If you guys are interested in either of these products for your desk or any of the products in this video, I'll do my best to leave it all in the description. So as you do with Ikea furniture, I built the Alex drawers, laid the Carl B tabletop on top, and this desk is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. It is the first desk I've ever had that doesn't wobble. It's nice and secure and feels like it's not going anywhere, supports my monitors really well, and I love it so much. But all that's left is just to set up all my gaming and streaming equipment and then decorate the room with various Fortnite, Game of Thrones, NASA, and Pirates memorabilia, and we're ready to go. But now without further ado, it's time for my first ever official gaming and streaming setup tour. Enjoy. First, we're going to start off at the desk. As I said previously in the video, it's two gray Alex drawers from Ikea and an Ikea Carl B tabletop. Moving up on top of the desk, we've got peripherals. I use the Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum gaming mouse, and I use the Corsair K70 mechanical gaming keyboard. Then underneath my mouse sits the SteelSeries XXL mouse pad, which I still don't think is big enough to be honest. Then moving up to monitors, on either side of my main monitor, I have two 27 inch curved Samsung displays, both mounted on VESA mounts so that I can move them and articulate them however I want. Then moving into the middle, I have my beautiful ASUS 24 inch 144 hertz gaming monitor. I love this thing so much. Now moving on to my audio equipment, I use the Shure SM7B microphone. This is mounted onto the Blue Compass mic arm, which mounts to my desk. The XLR from my microphone then runs into my cloud lifter. This is an inline microphone preamp and it will help add a little bit of gain to the microphone so it's not so quiet. The XLR from the cloud lifter then runs into my interface. I use the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 interface, and what it allows you to do is take an XLR cable, then it converts it to a USB signal, and then you can run the USB from the interface into your computer. So it pretty much allows you to use a XLR microphone on a computer. It also allows me to plug my headphones directly into the interface instead of running them to the computer. And then I also have hardware knobs for adjusting microphone gain and volume, and then my headphone volume, and all sorts of things like that. And now we move on to one of the most exciting parts in the setup, and that is my PC. It is custom built by me. It's got an Intel 8700K, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a GTX 1070 Founders Edition graphics card, and then I'm pretty sure that's all you guys care about. Um, it's got an SSD for my operating system and fast storage, and then a couple of mechanical hard drives for deep storage. But now onto my favorite part of the setup, the camera that I use for recording all of my YouTube videos. This is the Canon C200. It is a professional grade cinema camera and can shoot 4K raw and up to 120 frames per second slow motion. It is an absolute beast and yes, it is overkill for making just YouTube videos. Then moving on to my webcam for whenever I'm streaming, I use the Logitech C920. It's a pretty standard webcam for all the streamers out there. 
And now finally, we move on to lighting. Behind my setup pointed directly at my face is a large softbox. The reason I use softboxes is because it has a diffusion panel right up front that softens the light that gets thrown onto my face so it's not super harsh. Then behind me, mounted up on the wall, I have a smaller softbox for a bit of a backlight. Both of these lights have Philips Hue bulbs in them so that I can control them with Amazon Alexa. Alexa, turn the video lights on. And that's pretty much it for the setup, ladies and gentlemen. Um, other than a couple things I have around the room, I have some soundproofing blankets hung up as well as some soundproofing foam that makes the acoustics of the room a bit better when I'm recording audio. Other than that, I just have my shelving unit behind me that has some random decorations on it from Fortnite, Minecraft, uh, Rubik's Cubes, pirate ships, NASA, my old cameras, all kinds of stuff. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed seeing my setup and all the things I'm going to be using to stream to you guys and create all my new gaming videos for you guys. I'm really excited to be in this new space and I'm so excited to finally be back and making videos for you guys with actual good internet. Finally, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and comment and share to all your friends You can follow me on Twitter and share it around on Twitter if you want, but I will see you guys in the next video Peace out Don't you just hate when you're home alone in a new house and you hear like creaks and stuff? I haven't been here long enough to know if this place is haunted I'm just listening. Hmm. Mm-hmm.